why hello there welcome back to my channel it is of course chelsea of she designs things and in today's short video i'm just going to be sharing with you the difference between the marquee with the scrolling effect that is the full page embed and the marquee that is using just a regular google site homepage. all right so there won't be any transitioning and all of that in here i just want to show you um, what's going to be the aesthetic, the difference in the way it looks when you are viewing the site. So here on the right hand side, I have um, the marquee, the one that uses a full page embed for the home page. So that is the one that says hello there. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Um, so yeah. That's what this one looks like. You have that scrolling effect, which is called a marquee. Um, and then on the left hand side over here, this is where I have the no code option for those of you who um, like the aesthetic, but you don't necessarily need to have the marquee effect. So this is the no code option and I'm going to show you what that looks like in a full screen as well. So as you can see, I do have some limitations to work with within the Google site. So I was able to make some um, adjustments to kind of how it appears. For example, these are dividers that I'm using in here in order to create kind of that separation. The dividers are not as thick, but I decided I didn't want to use an image um, to just insert images in between. I didn't think it would be necessary considering I'm trying to create um, these sectioned with different levels of separation. And so for this reason, if you're using a monitor like as large as mine is, which is a 32 inch monitor, um, it does not span the full width of the screen, which is fine because on a mobile device, I mean, it, it clearly does. And then the only thing I did was um, position the text um, on opposite sides, uh, bouncing around from one side to the other. So that's the difference between here. And the first four are linked just as they were in the previous one in the marquee with the scrolling effect the only difference now is when you click on the link it'll open up in the same window because it's not an embed um, i did still decide to remove the menu so as you can see i do not use menus i generally don't use menus in my google sites i'm not a fan of them i know i have a menu on my personal one but I have been working to actually change my own Google site. Uh, but I'm also working to <laughs> redesign my um, photography site, which is the Bokeh Lens. And I want to take my photography site and move it over to a Google site as well. All right, so here, as you can see, I just went back. So this will go back to the next page um, and the arrows still work exactly the same and go back which will take you home so this will be your home page this is still information which it's just a hyperlinked text same for this one this one and this one the thing i didn't like was if i wanted to add color to it uh to like i have in the previous one over here to do that it was going to be um the whole text would be red and i just genuinely didn't like the way that looked as you can see it does keep this gap at the bottom um, between the section here and the way you can really change it if you don't want this look here to have that big gap go into the Google site and I'm just gonna expand this and make this larger inside of the theme you'll see the marquee if you edit the theme and then go to where it says spacing you can change the way it looks so right now it's comfortable you can change it to compact and once you change it to compact if you hit preview, you'll see that um, you do get more of the the lines together. Now, the other thing I could do is increase the size of the font here. If I really wanted to, I can make this, um, which should be an IBM mono font bold. And I'm going to change the font size to 36. And I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger and then just see what it does. So there you have it. It looks really big and bold um not too bad but let's just see if how's it comparing to here so pretty comparable i think i'll keep it that way and just change the color um to this off black color that i'm using here and the check the color you can always just do um what i'm doing right now which is 
to sort the colors there's a color profile okay cool anywho so yeah that's pretty much how I got this one now if you want access to this it is in the same exact folder as um, the marquee the one with the actual like CSS and HTML um, and to make changes to that file just so you know it's very easy all you'll have to do is once you get access you make that copy um, just click where it says edit and then you want to copy this information here and once you copy it head on over to um, any sort of code viewer I'm going to use code beautify for this as I as I always say I do actually use a visual studio code which is down here <laughs> it's an application or if you don't want to install it because it's not something you do very frequently this is one you can use and here you can see how to make the changes and how to you know pretty much make the changes so um, make sure you actually change the title that affects how it'll show up um, whenever someone is looking at it through the web like the the way it's going to look the title of the actual page in the document so that's where you're going to change that information at all right so <laughs> let me know if you have any questions or if there is something else you would like to learn how to do as far as um, these marquee effects go maybe a different direction and I do plan to make a couple more free Google site layouts um, just because it's really easy for me to create these Google site layouts and share them versus me trying to um, code and create an entire website because if I do an entire one I'm sorry it's not gonna be free <laughs> all right so thanks so much for watching and of course laters <laughs>